Well, you're trying to calm yourself down because you don't want this decision to hurt anyone considering that you guys do have a pass. But enough is enough. You come to realize that you're being taken advantage, especially the fact that they're the one who walked away and now they're saying they're the one who's hurt. They tried to reach out to you to make amends, but for you, I don't look back. You're trying to be happy on your own, but your person now appeals to you. They're sad, they're upset that you guys are not together and that you guys have broken up, period. Ten of swords with a death card. Aries. How are you? <laughs> Sal, why you always push us to the edge? I don't. You're the one who dates. You know that readers get this who like, why is he like that? No, I know, you know, I never get blamed for him. But we just draw the cards and you guys date, right? So how about you don't date this kind of people and then we have nothing to read like this. Exactly. Okay. So we're only here to see the, the future for you and the current and the past, right? Mm. So let's begin. Let's see. Two of Wands, Two of Swords with a Ten of Pentacles. I have to be honest with you, Aries, you're cheating here. <gasps> How dare you tell? No, you're cheating in the sense that you already know that you're going to break up with them. And yet, you said you, you went with it. You went with it. You lied to yourself. True? Yes. Mm. There was red flags, let's be honest. But you wanted to basically, you know, I want to experience the whole six flag sale. Not just one red. I want blue. I want yellow, lavender. So red flag is not enough for you. <laughs> so, do you collect these flags? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, if you open my closet, there is a lot there. <laughs> and there it is, three of swords. How much? I make it look easy, of course. But I know you're so devastated. You're in pain. You guys were married, Ten of Pentacles. And then now you guys are, you have three cards that indicated separation. Three of swords, the death, and the ten of swords. If your name is not Sharona, I cannot say my, my, my. Okay? Because my, 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 Sharona. <laughs> I don't know how you can survive this. When I see people going through divorce or has overcome divorce, which of course, like in my family, like, hello. <laughs> I always wonder how they manage it. I want to ask you, Aries. How do you manage it? I don't, so. I don't. Seven of ones. I block the person. I try to be happy, you know. My best friend right now, you know, first name and last name, Pino. Last name, Noir. <laughs> okay. Your cousin, Pino. Last name, Grigio. Because <laughs> the Nine of Cups do enjoy their drink, yes. And the occasional one, you have occasional visit from what? Vodka. Thank you. <laughs> I don't promote drinks, okay? Alcohol is not good, of course, right? But to each his own. This is something you're trying to recover. I give you that, okay? I have a different way of recovering. It's called revenge. Thank you. Because <laughs> the Nine of Cups with a death card, you find yourself in a dark place. Let's be honest. How you, how this person has walked away from you. You went to the dark place. There was some time where, in order for you just to get up in the morning, okay, you have to basically be out of yourself. That's how you feel. You were dead in the inside. Nine of Cups with a death card. You were existing, but you know you're not there anymore. Ouch. My God. <laughs> existing, but yeah. Right, Aries? Yes. See? Ten of Swords, because you were vulnerable. You gave it all, and just like any other Aries, that's how an Aries love. To the max, okay? To the max. Ten of Swords, I give it all, right? To the point that you sabotage yourself, right? Mm. Six of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands. Your person is claiming here, give me a chance. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a chance? <laughs> Where is this person coming from? Because they're claiming here six of pentacles with a nine of uh, wands. Like, I'm sorry for letting you down. No, don't be sorry for letting me down. I'm sorry that you're like that. 
That's what I would tell this person. Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands. They left you, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what hurts the most is that you gave it all. You were vulnerable. You have all these things invested in this relationship, right? Ten of Pentacles. And then they're the one who walk away. Three of Swords. Rose Quartz shines as a beacon of transformation. This extraordinary crystal attracts love, healing emotional wounds, and enhances self-care. With its gentle energy, it nurtures your well-being, empowering you to embrace a life filled with love and joy. Embrace the magic of Rose Quartz. Let it radiate love, nurture your inner self, and unlock endless possibilities. Order now and embark on a journey of transformation with our exquisite, handcrafted Rose Quartz bracelets. Discover a life filled with love, self-care, and inner beauty. Hi, yay, Aries. K2 in the seventh house, right? Mm. Divorce and separation. Guarantee, no question asked. K2 in the seventh. Second child born, guarantee, divorce, separation. So if you have K2 in the seventh, only one child. Because the DNA is K2. And once the karma has been passed, then there's no reason for the marriage to stay connected. Mm -hmm. But I don't know your chart. You know me. I like. I just like to give a little bit here and there misleading information. Thank you. No, 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 no. It's true. <laughs> I just want to make you laugh. Look at you. I know, so Like I'm. I'm just. I just. I just don't know. I don't know. Three of Swords. Angels clip your wings. An angel without your wings. Are you even an angel? Mm. Well, you're about to be. You know who's an angel who got their wings clipped. <laughs> I'm just saying, there was a tail in, that came out and a horn. So there's only one angel that clipped their wings. So either you die a hero or you live long enough to be the villain. I don't want you to go in revenge mode, Aries, because I know you. I know you when you get upset. That Martian. For, I mean, you're, they're not, you're nice that you're just blocking them, that you're just distancing yourself from your person, meaning you still love them. So this has been an ongoing situation for quite some time. So the situation has gone old. No, this is this one. Your person has have faith over here. This is what your person, it might, you might get triggered here because your person is saying, Aries, have faith. Have faith. <laughs> I developed faith okay, <laughs> after dating you. I discovered okay, that there is a higher being up there. Thank you for being a catalyst for my spiritual transformation. That's what you found here. Don't we all, oh, this card get mixed. Don't we all, when we date someone who is kind of a little bit on the traumatic side, sorry, I thought it got mixed. We go, we build a close connection with God. Don't we all? Mm. Yes. Mm. So you can thank your person. Your, your, if you connect with your soulmate, they're a catalyst for a spiritual transformation. Because I see here you got the dark night of the soul. Okay. Man, those nodes, that Rahu Ketu don't joke around, huh? Talk about that. Mm -hmm. In the first house and in the seventh house. Next 30 days. The make it or break it. I feel like it's break it already, but what is what's about to happen? Best course of action. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a mm, Acquire stars the Scorpio. Okay. This is your best course of action, your first um for this and your foreseeable future. If there's any wise word that I can give for an Aries, you know, who's who's dating, you know, who's getting to know people, who's, you know, who's here right now, who's watching. Rose quartz. <laughs> you wanted advice. I give an advice. So now I'm the one who's wrong. Okay. For self-healing, of course. For self-healing. Okay. Don't even remedy and manifest new when clearly the present and the current is quite, I don't know, an experience. Ah, yeah, yeah. Seven of swords. Okay. You got the hangman. See, this is why you're hurt right here, because you're staying. 
They walk away and you choose to stay. They walk away and you choose to try to understand them. They walk away and then you feel that maybe I was wrong. What? <laughs> okay. I feel like you don't want to let go. You see that angel? You can fly, Aries. You can let go. I'll give you a good number of a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> You're married. Excuse me. Six of Wands, the Hangman, the Seven of Swords. I'm seeing here that the Aries is trying to figure out a way. Don't do that. Six of Swords, King of Pentacles with the full card because your person is asking for that chance. So you're telling me here, Aries, after everything, after all that we've been through, I will <laughs> make it a... Well, it, it looks like it. Your person is asking for a second chance with the full card, which Nine of Wands also, they said that earlier. And they don't want to appear that they're defensive, but they're claiming here that they're hurt also as much as you are with that full card. They're claiming that things will change, Six of Swords. Things will be different. Yeah, it's called Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, things are different based on the day, okay? But you, your person, we shall see. Seven of Swords with the Three of Swords. I feel like your person is a bit of a liar. And that's why, let's find out what did they lie to you about. Okay. Man. My business would be thriving if you keep dating like this, Aries. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for keeping okay, this channel alive. Okay. I will have my, I will lose my purpose if you start dating the right one, right? Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Being sarcastic there, Aries. Let's see your card of focus, okay? Let's see the card of focus. There's an extended reading to this. Link in the description box below. You're dealing with a Pisces. I mentioned already, a Capricorn is here also. Scorpio Pisces again right there. Aquarius Taurus Leo Scorpio. Our bracelet is shipped international and also available in different sizes. And you can visit our store. In Studio City, if you're in Los Angeles, your card of focus is second chance. My, you should change your name to Sharona because you crazy. Okay, Aries, you crazy. Jupiter, Rahu together in your first house. And this is what you're going to do. Jupiter in the first house is a Hamsa Yoga. Okay, this is luck. Okay, if you're born with Jupiter in the first house. Okay, so... This is supposed to be an opportunity for you to take a chance, a leap of faith, start a new beginning in life, and yet, no, Sal. I feel like maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe, maybe one more. Okay. Well, if that's your case, let's find out if this deserves a second, third, fourth chance. Link down in the description box below. Let's answer more of your question if there will be a chance. I'll see you there.